Hola amigos, let's say you want to animate something. You want to make a cartoon like you've seen in Dexter's Laboratory and all that stuff. Well, you're in luck because you can use Pencil, which is a free frame by frame animation program. It's great if you do not want to spend like a million dollars on Flash, which costs four hundred dollars. Not one million. I kind of did that. Anyway. For those wondering, if you've ever been to Newgrounds.com, I'm sure you have. It, um, blah, 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 blah. all the cartoons on that website are made with Flash, and Flash costs four hundred dollars. So if you don't want to shell out that much money, you can just use this, which is a free program, and it's great for um, frame by frame animation, which is basically each frame you draw it again. And as you can see, it has onion skinning and if you have used Flash before, you'll you will notice that um, the thing is kind of okay with Flash. It straightens out your lines, so you can see how this line is kind of pixely, right? Well, um, it it straighten it has a vector there, so it straighten not uh, see how it's all smooth, ugly, smooth suddenly. But I don't use the vector layer that often because it is in my opinion mostly for sketching and stuff uh... most of the time when i'm when i'm just doodling oh i mean sorry vector layer is for finalizing and the bitmap layer is mostly just for doodling and i tend to doodle a lot so oh, hold on um, yeah basically you can just use this to animate it's totally free i'll link to the website and it's available for windows mac and linux some of the cool uh, neat things about this is that you can export to an X sheet, which is what traditional animating people use. Uh, image sequence, which, like, say you want to edit an image. Uh, oh, hold on, let me show you something. If you don't like this background, this background is for editing images. You can have a white background, this weird black background that I don't really give a shit for. Uh, this thing, whatever. My favorite background is this background. Oh yeah, ha <laughs> It's like real paper, right? Yes, it does look awesome. Anyway, um, there's a special thing with this background. This isn't just a background. This means transparency. So what that means is, if you're gonna do image editing, it'll okay. If I imported an image right now, uh, that image would be the only thing here. There would be no background. So if I saved it, it would be just the image. This is great if you want to work with video. Like I downloaded a video from. <laughs> Ignore the name from YouTube. Uh, this is my favorite YouTube video blogger, and I uh, I basically using a software called AVDMX. Where is it? Wait one second. AVDMX. Uh, I selected a couple of clips, uh, a couple of frames from the clip of him I had, and I exported them as JPEGs. And look, if you can see, I was editing them. So I was basically just taking off the entire background and um, this I did with the uh, the gym but then and then this one I did with pencil so um, you can do it with both and the great thing about pencil is like oh cool it has onion skinning so it's like I could draw butterflies here and I don't know I just think it's awesome to animate a uh, video you can add special effects to whatever videos you have using AVMX uh, AVDMX or Virtual Dub on Windows, and yeah, that's that's a great feature of it. Uh, it can also export to QuickTime Movie, which is you know, uh, yeah, and then Flash slash SWF, which YouTube you oh look my my thing is done, yay! Oh, it's it's in processing too. All right, whatever. Anyway, so uh, just drawing a couple of frames here you can play it back. Oh look! Okay, I don't know why it's going so slow. Something's wrong with my computer. Not something's wrong, I just have too much stuff open. Yay! If you want playback without the onion skinning, you can just press that button. Oh, don't worry, it's not the program. My computer is running a lot of shit right now, so do not fret. Yay! Anyway, you can do stuff like that. Some tools are like uh, the bucket tool, clear tool, eraser, the brush, uh, there's, this tool is really cool, look at that, it straightens out your lines and stuff, yay, I think that's awesome, 
select tool one. It really has a lot of cool stuff. Uh, even gradients. You can import images, import sounds. Oh, another cool thing is if you go over here, add a new layer. There's the camera camera layer, which basically uh, lets you create your own camera. Something that even Flash does not have, and that costs four hundred dollars, and this costs zip. So there's that, and then there is also sound layer. What a sound layer is is basically you just import a sound, and uh, this functionality isn't that good in uh, Ubuntu, but in in uh, Windows it'll work fine. The only thing you gotta watch out for is uh, with Windows. Uh, you have, huh? Windows. Yeah. Anyway, with Windows, um, you have to have it in WAV format, not um, not MP3, because. And the reason for that is, if you see what this thing, if you can read it, it's probably messed up. QT, which is a development uh, suit for people who like to develop, and the guy who use a guy used that to develop this thing and uh, basically QT is has really bad sound support so that's the reason for that anyway so that's pretty much all you really need to know uh, there's a manual and uh, yeah now just doodle if you want I guess alright